There is something which is called an MBTI. Do you, do you know what an MBTI is? Yeah, I know it, but I don't know its full form. So it's called the Myers Biggs um, Personality mm -hmm. Trait Test. Have you done that? Yes, I have actually. Exactly. I mean, I, I have a good sense of humor, I must say. I mean, like if you're having like a humorous conversation, that's all right. But I'm not like the type of person who acts good. It's all right. In the morning, it's hot, but at night, it's okay. Right now, I think it's around 30, 30 degrees Celsius because it's night. And morning is like 40 degrees. But it's all right. It's okay. Well, what about so what's your, the... How's the weather there? It's, I'm actually in Goa, so it's hot. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's it's still very hot. So, uh, the nights, it's, uh, I think it's not cool. Uh, it's it's pleasant. Ooh. So, uh, but that's okay. I mean, we know that the rains are going to be coming in most probably in a week's time. Okay. Hopefully. Oh. So, uh, it, it comes, it starts from the south, right? It's, I think mm -hmm. Kerala is the first country that uh, state that starts getting uh, the rains and it goes up. So, what's the uh, what's the topic for today? It's comedy, isn't it? Yes. So, do you like comedy? Not exactly. I mean, I, I have a good sense of humor. I must say. I mean, like if you're having like a humorous conversation, that's all right. But I'm not like the type of person who. Actually, search up a comedy show and watch it. I, I don't like that. I, I don't like comedy that much. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Um, so, you, you're. Uh, would you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? Earlier, like uh, six months ago, I was an introvert, but I made changes to myself, and now I think I am an extrovert. Do you think it's so easy in life? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, it's not so easy. So, we are born with certain traits which we, yeah. part of it we inherit from our parents. Okay. And uh, part we basically uh, uh, inherit uh, from our genes and the way our upbringing is. That's why they always, uh, they always specify that the experiences the child has in their upbringing is very important, which mm -hmm. basically shapes their personality and their thinking. So, mm -hmm. you know, they say right up to from the age of eight to 12, they would start developing these kind of traits with them. From the age of 12 to 18, they start developing uh, these kind of uh, traits with them. Um, I want you to, uh, I want to see if I can get you something. Uh, I was thinking about the last conversation we had and um, there is something which is called an MBTI. Do you, do you know what an MBTI is? Yeah, I know it, but I don't know its full form. So it's called the Myers Biggs um, Personality mm -hmm. Trait Test. Have you done that? Yes, I have actually twice. Wow. And has there been different results? Yes. And the surprising part is that the, the difference between the time period of the, taking the tests wasn't even like too long. It was just like one month's time gap. I got okay. two different results. And where did you get, where did you do these tests from? I just searched up MBTI tests. There was, I think, a website about these MBTIs. I think I did the test from there. There are lots of them, yeah. There's something called 16personalities.com. Yeah, the 16 plus. Yeah, I did from the 16 one, yeah. Okay, okay. So you did it two different days, at two different times, and you got two different, total different answers, or? Yeah, totally different answers. Like, it was this gap of one month when I took okay. the two weeks test. They're totally different. So usually, different. usually what happens to us in our lives is based on our experiences, uh, your MBTI score usually changes every three to four years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you are relatively, uh, you're still getting into uh, coming to know different aspects of the world. So uh, when you graduate and get into college, it's one once you start working in your first job, it's another. 
then after like two or three years, you realize it's not uh, it's not always what it is. But yeah. um, you are living in a very interesting age. We all are living in a very interesting age. I yeah. would want you to, if you're not, I won't be surprised if you have already. Uh, I want you to get to something called Chat GP. Uh, I think version four is out. Yeah. So uh, there is a new, there is a new. So Chat GP is going to replace jobs. That's for sure. So content writers, a lot of them is is going to kind of decrease. But there is a new uh, field which is emerging in Chat GP because of Chat GP, and the field is called prompt engineering. So oh. you can actually become a prompt engineer. What is that? So basically, how does Chat GP work? Is that uh, it basically you have to ask it certain specific questions in a certain way, yeah, yeah. and then uh, it would give you that answer. Now, two yeah. things you have to remember about Chat GP: two very prevailing things. One is that Chat GP would lie to you if it does not know the answer. Oh wow! Okay. That's- that's yes. kind of like human intelligence, isn't it? Yeah. So if you if you punch in um, what are the favorite Japanese restaurants in Bangalore, since mm-hmm. Bangalore has a lot of Japanese restaurants, it would kind of pop a quest uh, uh, an answer to you around Japan and the cuisine, and there are a lot of quest there are a lot of uh, restaurants uh, in Bangalore about it. But in 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 a way, it would lie to you. Because it does not know the right answer. The other thing about Chat GP is, uh, I think version one, two, and three is made right up to September of 2021. Yeah. So if you ask Chat GP today, who is the CEO of Twitter, they would not say Elon Musk. It would yeah. say the previous guy. Mm. Okay. But this, all of this, you know, asking the right question to Chat GP. Uh, is basically called prompt. You prompt it to answer. Yeah. So there is a field called prompt engineering, which is coming up. So you could go and research something called Kosaria. Do you know what Kosaria is? No. Kosara. Kosara. Kosaria. Uh, you know, the, there are these online platforms where you can learn stuff. Mm. Okay. So you can basically go and do. Uh, any uh, any any uh, any kind of course on these websites? You don't oh. know about them. I okay. know about like a website called Skillshare, but I do not know the one that you are mentioning. What did you do in Skillshare? You can like take up courses and learn things. I mm-hmm. think that's that's what you do. Okay, so there's a company called Coursera. Coursera oh. is basically a US based online on online course provider okay oh. where you can get uh, courses uh, online where you could go and do it from from different universities or different people have you heard of something called udemy you oh yeah i have heard of it but i forgot what it does same thing only thing udemy is like a person like you if you've got a course which you want to teach someone, you could basically go to Udemy and uh, you could um, you could go ahead and uh, teach the course. In Coursera, what happens is that it's taught by professionals. Wow! Right? Not anyone can put a course on Coursera, but Coursera has got courses from. 275 leading companies and universities in the world. Wow. Right? I sent you a chat just now with the name and yep. you could explore it. Now, if you go to Costa and if you punch in prompt engineering, that mm-hmm. would give you a set of courses which presumably you can do, uh, you could do for free. Mm-hmm. Right? So what it is, is that everyone's jumping onto this because by the time you come out, then you could be, you could have knowledge that a lot of people around you might not have. So explore yeah. those courses. There is a course which is um, 
It's called Prompt Engineering for Chat GP. And it teaches you about everything, right? From uh, logging into Chat GP, uh, what, what does it do? So you can get a certification in Prompt Engineering, which, which is a different, is, is a very, uh, I think it's going to be a, a field like your content writers. You got. You need to be able to write the prom, prompt on Chat GP in the right way, mm-hmm. and if you can master that, it'll be very beneficial for you in your private life as well as your professional life. Yeah, and I I use the Chat GPT platform. It is very useful. I I actually am learning how to code, and I was like stuck at yeah. one line. That there was an okay. error. I was not able to find out what the yeah. error was, and I just asked chat gpt to help me and help me it helps me very nicely i got my answer i got the solution to it so i think what you should do is uh, try to get into prompt G- uh, engineering that mm. would kind of be able to help you to ask that question mm. in a more better way and um, a, a way that you could you could actually uh, you could actually uh, you know harness it there's something called Think School. Uh, I don't know if you heard about Think School. Think mm-hmm. School. Uh, they have a lot of uh, kind of courses. Recently, I actually did a course. Uh, it was a three-hour or four-hour course on Chat GP. Uh, it was uh, it was free. I think I paid two hundred rupees, or I don't know if it's free or whatever. But I do know I didn't pay a huge amount of money for it. But um, it kind of gives you an insight as to what's happening. And how big chat GP can actually be. Yeah. Right? So let's just get back. Oh, I don't think so. We've got time for today. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, we're supposed to talk about comedies. Do you have any kind of preference when it comes to comedy? Not exactly. Um, I mean, I'm not really that fond like, of do you like, do you like, Do you like British comedy or American comedy? British comedy is very slapstick. You know, it's a very upper lip kind of a thing. Uh, yeah. American comedy is different, so yes. black comedy is there. So, do you do you have any preferences when it comes to that? No. I mean, it's, it's somewhere between American and British comedy. There's not exactly a particular point that I like. So, which which famous TV show do you like? Uh, could you repeat that? Which famous TV show do you like? Comedy TV show. I don't really watch much of TV shows. It may be Tarak Mehta ka ulta chashma. Okay, something like that, is it? So do you know what a com- uh, stand-up comedian is? Yeah, it means to just go up to stage and make jokes and like comical scenarios, comical scenarios. Okay, okay. Okay, good stuff. And what does clownish mean? Clownish? Um, like yeah. stupid in a funny way, I guess. So basically, it is a characteristic or a person who's representing a clown, especially okay. in a foolish and humorous way. Um, okay. So yeah, you could have people who behave clownish in your circle, but uh, that's the way it is. But uh, there is a punchline. Do you know what a punchline is? Yeah, it's like that one one line that just uh, that just like so funny or something. The main line you could say. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I think um, I'm going to call you uh, uh, Rukhima because your first name I still can't figure out. Arundhati. It's Arundhati Rukhima. Okay. Right. Anyway, I think today's session is coming to an end. Uh, yeah. I think I did more of the talking than you did. But uh, what, what I would like, did you like anything about the session? Yeah, it was quite wonderful. I mean, I learned a few things that I did not know about these various platforms from where you can learn these courses. It was amazing. I liked it. Yeah. So if you if you if you do have time on your hands, mm-hmm. uh, go online, go to uh, Udemy, go to Coursera, try to do uh certain uh, courses which are some most of, some of them are free actually where you can just do the course uh, and you get a certification for it a certificate for it or something uh, but uh, check it check out chat gp uh, check out prompt engineering it's very very big very big okay you take care it was wonderful chatting with you today uh, have a good uh, evening and have a good uh, weekend
you too. <laughs> Thanks. See you. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.